It's your boy, Mark Gray, and I'm not hating. I'm just saying, I'm not jumping on the bandwagon to give the NBA its props for doing what they should have done at least 10 to 15 years ago by excommunicating Donald Sterling from the association by taking away his power to run the day-to-day -day operations of the Los Angeles Clippers is a great thing, but it was too long in coming. There were ideas and incidents that this guy had a bad, darker side to him for many, many years. He's been sued three separate times since 2003, and the league seemed to look the other way. So a good job out of Adam Silver in his first act as NBA commissioner to firmly take the reins of the association by saying, Donald, I don't know where you're going, but you need to get the hell up out of here. Silver laid claim to the fact that he's going to hold on to the NBA's virtues of being a diverse association that embraces everybody. But my problem with this thing is you had tons of owners who've been around for nearly the time that Sterling has been owner and they sat back and did absolutely nothing. They needed the new blood to come in and give him a swift kick in the butt to kick him out of the league. You mean to tell me these billionaire owners who've made more money than I'll ever know in my lifetime had no idea that one of their own could be operating in such a reckless fashion that it could bring embarrassment to the league? That it could get inside the coffers and adversely affect the revenue streams which drive the association? You mean to tell me they weren't worried that as the game continues to go global with players from Europe and Australia, South America and Asia all now coming to the United States to earn their wares playing in the greatest league on the planet that this guy wasn't a loose cannon that could cause an international catastrophe? Really? I find that hard to believe. As a matter of fact, I have to hold the ownership of the organization, that 30-man crew, that all-boys millionaires club, just as complicit as Sterling in these remarks, finally becoming open. That's right, boys and girls. You have to be in a club and be enabled by the members of your club to keep these views. We're not talking about a guy who was ever truly committed to the association. Until recently, the Los Angeles Clippers were the laughing stock of the association. They were one of the worst teams in the history of American sports, if not the worst, over the last three decades. And in that time, he was sued by the government and one of the NBA's all-time greats, Elgin Baylor, for running a, quote, plantation-style mentality as it relates to his front office practices. Look, Adam Silver did a great thing. He took the reins of the organization away from a man who shouldn't have been part of the organization since its inception. However, when do we start holding David Stern accountable for turning his back on a guy who was a ticking time bomb that's ultimately exploded the NBA? It's fantastic. It's America's game. But it has no place for Donald Sterling, and Donald Sterling should have been kicked out a long time ago. It's your boy, Mark Gray, and I'm not hating. I'm just saying, somebody's got to tell it like it is, so it might as well be me. Holla back.